Hello friends, uh, reasoning type questions, are they difficult? Not really, uh, you just need a little analytical mind. Let's see what this question is asking. Uh, osmotic fragility increases in spherocytosis. Uh, explain why, what's the reasoning? Let's understand. Uh, first of all, uh, what is fragility? You must have seen on airports or at various places, when this there is a parcel and um, on many parcels they have written uh, fragile handle with care it's a fragile material inside so fragile it means uh, easily breakable uh, with a certain movement and certain handling it's going to be easily uh, broken down so handle with care and therefore fragility of the rbc is being asked uh, fragility of the rbc means how it gets broken down uh, then the word added is osmotic fragility. So, uh, if the water moves into the RBC by osmosis, the RBC will swell up and eventually its membrane will be broken down. That uh, concept is called as osmotic fragility. Now, look, for a normal RBC, 0.9% sodium chloride is said to be the isotonic solution because inside the RBC, uh, the sodium chloride is present and it has a concentration of 0.9 percent. So, if you place an RBC in an isotonic solution, 0.9 percent sodium chloride solution, there will not be movement of water by osmosis and RBC will, uh, uh, will remain as it is. But if you place an RBC in uh, let us say distilled water or in a hypotonic solution like let us say 0.5 percent sodium chloride, so that is a hypotonic solution. So, what will happen? Water will enter the RBC. RBC will swell up. If more hypotonic solution, water will enter faster or more water will enter the RBC and RBC will be broken down even earlier. So, uh, there is a certain normal osmotic fragility uh, for the RBC and it is tested like this you place uh, the RBCs in various solutions, solutions of various tonicities and see in which solution the RBC is really broken down. What is its fragile, fragility or osmotic fragility? Now, RBC is a biconcave shaped cell and biconcave shape offers greater surface area. Compare that with a spherocyte. Spherocyte means RBC is now sphere shaped as you can see in the diagram. Look, if the water were to enter the RBC uh, of a biconcave shape, normal shape, that means as the water enters, the RBC will swell up, swell up, swell up, swell up, swell up like this, like this and finally will be broken down. The membrane will be lysed or broken down. But if it is already a spherocyte, it has got a less surface area and that means uh, as the water starts entering the RBC, it has got less scope to accommodate that water and that means it will break down earlier, earlier than the normal RBC. So, you can see here in the 0.5% sodium chloride, the RBC was swelling up but not breaking down easily whereas in the case of spherocytosis, since it has got less scope, to accommodate that water which is entering by uh, osmosis, RBC will be broken down early. So, therefore, that was the reasoning which was asked uh, in the spherocytosis, the RBC shape, it is a sphere shaped RBC uh, and therefore, it has uh, less chance of accommodating the water and therefore, its osmotic fragility increases. Remember, what is the meaning of osmotic fragility increases? It breaks down earlier than the uh, normal RBC. So, uh, is it any cl uh, use clinically speaking? Yes, when you do not have any other sophisticated investigations, you can use this to at least diagnose changes in the shape of the RBC. And just last one point, osmotic fragility decreases in the conditions of sickle cell anemia. A sickle shaped RBC is more resistant to the breakdown by osmotic, uh, uh, osmotic movement of water. But anyways, that was the reasoning and that was the question, reasoning question. So, many more such questions will be discussed uh, on our channel. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.